No worries, Simon. I guess I'll start with the money and the NBL Cup. Uh, I know you guys focus on it on game by game, but how aware were you during the game, and particularly towards the end of the second quarter? I guess where Ruben uh, hit a pretty pretty critical free throw at that time. Uh, wasn't worrying about the money. Um, it's going to get me a slap upside the head from my GM, but um, really just wanted to, you know, we, we want to build. You know, we've struggled with our consistency at times during games and there's been fluctuations. So for us, it's more about just executing both sides of the ball every possession and, and, and trying to build that way. And if you're successful for that, then, then these, these spoils that we're talking of will just take care of themselves. But, um, yeah, it didn't really sort of occur to me until, you know, late in the fourth um, that, well, not obviously I knew about it, but... I, I didn't really want to do anything about it until late in the fourth where we sort of tried to protect that lead. Uh, as far as the, the NBL Cup goes in general, you've got to a point in the season where I guess this is, this is a nice point to ho hopefully get some normalcy back. When you look at the, I guess, the roadblocks you've had, some of the injuries you've had, how would you assess your time here over the last few weeks and what you've been able to achieve? Um... I think we're a young program that's building and it's, uh, you know, our roster's building. We're trying to learn how to work together. I mean, Benny's performance the last couple of games has been outstanding and I talked about that last night after the presser that, or the night before after the presser that, you know, we've got to learn how to... He's got so many tricks in the tool bag that we've got to continue to find them and discover them. And we see him at practice every now and then. We're like, Ooh. OK, it's something to excite us and we start to bring that out. But it's, it, that goes for all the guys. Uh, and now that we bring in, uh, you know, Rowdy into the team as well, you know, he's just got, uh, you know, he's got his legs clearly aren't there just at this point in time and we, we, we didn't expect them to be um, this early. But, uh, you know, we're just going to start to continue to work together and grow as a team. And, and as these guys keep coming through and they get healthy, you know, it, it's, it's another readjustment to, for us to, to improve. Uh, I mean, I'm feeling good about it. You know, we have a great group of guys, so we're all trying to work together to get better. And uh, when the main focus is winning, uh, everything's going to kind of play out itself and work out, uh, work out itself. So, you know, I'm cool. I'm fine. Uh, yes and no. Like, yes, he's, he's, he's a great spacer of the floor. I mean, he, he's probably not going to put his hand up and say that was his greatest game of, of all time tonight. But, you know, he's three points. He's plus 11 in, in nine minutes of playing time. You know, like, he requires that much attention and he, and he opens up the floor for other guys because you've got to guard him nose to nose. And, and so, like, there's that element to him. But I, I think there's also elements to Ryan that, that we need to explore and that I know of that... that isn't just standing in a corner and spreading the floor. He's got game that, that he can show in the NBL. Time will start to build that uh, into our repertoire uh, as an offensive unit. And, um, you know, the one thing he does, he's great. He, 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 you know, Cairns especially were able to ex expose his legs a little bit and, you know, they ran him through some screens and he got tired and he missed some assignments. But he's talking his way through all those assignments. So you can just see the IQ coming out of the defensive side. Um, it's just we've got to get that body up to shape where he can execute uh, what he's talking. Um, like a lot of guys on our team, you know, he's, he's had a, a taste of the NBA and high-level Europe, just like Ben has, like Creaky has. And, um, 
you know, like it's it's he brings a wealth of experience, obviously, world championships, Olympics, and he's got great advice. And he asks good questions of, of the coaching staff as well. You know, like we're having a team meeting. He's going to hold us accountable. Like, hey, what, what do you guys really want here? You know, and so, you know, he's just a professional and he's and he's a great guy. He's fit into the group, which is was never going to be a question. Um, you know, it's it's we're going to be real patient. Uh, Ryan and I have a great, um, you know, great communication and we've been talking just the whole time is like, man, we're going to take this one slow, right? And he's like, yeah, for sure. So it's it's just, we want him at the at the uh, the business end of the year being at peak condition. And uh, if we try and throw him in there too early, and he, you know, something tightens up and something tears, it, you know, it's going to be it's not good for us. So we'll take our time with him. Yeah, last one, mate. Then I'll stop uh, stop passing you here. Sykes, he, uh, I think he he said that he's around ten days away. That's what I what I've heard. Has he been able to do anything in terms of to practice? How has he been progressing? And I assume it's a similar type situation where you, you're just not going to rush him. You're going to take your time with him, particularly with Kyle playing so well. Um, no, it's not really similar. No, he's still in his rehabilitation mode. So he's not ready to practice with the team at all. Um, he's still uh, he's, he's now doing some ball handling, um, supervised ball handling and um, some super li- supervised work um, on his feet. Um, with movements, uh, but as far as joining us in practice, uh, I haven't spoken to the physios about it. I know it's a, it's a little ways away. So, um, you know, he's a supreme athlete, and and like I don't think it's it's going to be like Ryan, where he's been out of the game for a year, and you're going to have to bring him along slowly. Um, once he's ready to go, and he's got a tra- training session or two under his feet, um, you know, we're going to be able to, to 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 throw him the ball and let him go. But um, at the same time, um, you know, we've shown that. Uh, We've got a couple of guys behind him who can handle the duties uh, as well. So we'll make it all work.